For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And his question goes like this. If x squared plus 36 over x squared equals 6, then what is the numerical value of x cubed over 36 plus 6 over x cubed? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this equation x squared plus 36 over x squared equals 6, then our final goal is to evaluate this expression x cubed over 36 plus 6 over x cubed. Now, to answer this question, of course, let's use the given equation, which is x squared plus 36 over x squared equals 6. Now, Take note that this 36 is just 6 raised to the power of 2. So why not? Let's replace 36 with 6 raised to the power of 2. And now, 6 squared over x squared, this can be simplified into 6 over x raised to the power of 2. This is just the same thing as 6 squared over x squared. So now let's have this form, 6 over x raised to the power of 2. Now, why we do that? Here's the reason. Because recall that when we have a plus b raised to the power of 2, it must be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, x squared and 6 over x raised to the power of 2, this simplifies to our a squared and this is our b squared. So, x must be equal to a and 6 over x must be equal to b. So, now what we're going to do is to add one term on both sides, 2 times a times b to make the left-hand side of our equation a perfect square trinomial. And after that, we can now rewrite this in the form a plus b raised to the power of 2. Now, let's do that. So let's add 2 times x times 6 over x. In this case, this serves as a and this serves as b. So in both sides, to make this equation balance. All right, now we can now say that on the left hand side of our equation we can rewrite this as x plus 6 over x raised to the power of 2. Now on the right hand side of our equation of course let's simplify. We have x and x cancel out so this is just 2 times 6 which is equal to 12. Now 6 plus 12 must be equal to 18. Now to solve for the value of x plus 6 over x why not? Let's get the square root on both sides. And now, since the power is an even, so we have two possible values here. We have positive or negative. Now, the left-hand side of our equation, this simplifies to x plus 6 over x. And 18, we know this is just 9 times 2. And square root of 9 is 3. So, square root of 18 can be simplified to 3 multiplied by square root of 2. And that is the value of x plus 6 over x. Now, take note that our goal here is to find the numerical value of x cubed over 36 plus 6 over x cubed. So why not? Let's get these two equations and let's multiply them. Why we do that? Because if we multiply x squared to x, this will give us x cubed. That's very simple. So let's multiply this and let's use the chunk multiplication. So we have x squared multiplied by the whole chunk of x plus 6 over x and 36 over x squared multiplied by the whole chunk of x plus 6 over x. So multiply x squared to x and 6 over x. If we do that, we get x cubed plus 6x. Now distribute 36 over x squared to x and 6 over x. If we do that, we get 36 over x plus 216 over x cubed. Now, let's focus on these two terms because 36 is 6 times 6. So why not factor out the common factor of 6? If we do that, we get 6 multiplied by x plus 6 over x. And we know the value of this. This is given which is positive or negative 3 times square root of 2. So we can replace this with positive or negative 3 times square root of 2. Now, here's the good thing. 
if we subtract 6 multiply by positive or negative 3 times square root of 2 on both sides, if we subtract this, we cancel out these two terms and this is just equal to 0. So, we can say that x cubed plus 216 over x cubed must be equal to 0. So, this is good because we have here x cubed on the top, x cubed on the bottom. We have here x cubed on the top and x cubed on the bottom. So, to make this equation be equal or identical to this expression, what we're going to do is to multiply this equation by 1 over 36. Because take note 216 is 6 times 36. So, if we distribute 1 over 36 to x cubed plus 216 over x cubed, this will give us x cubed over 36 plus 6 over x cubed. And on the right hand side, 1 over 36 times 0, any number multiplied by 0 is still 0. Therefore, this is now the expression that we want to evaluate. And our answer to this question, if x squared plus 36 over x squared equals 6, then the numerical value of x cubed over 36 plus 6 over x cubed equals 0. As always, we are done.